Uh, we're at Andrews now. Y'all oh. two valve. What's up? Y'all seen this a lot on my channel. Yeah. This car. Getting this piston stop so we can find top dead center on, yeah. on there. Um, oh, that insulation helps out a lot. Alright. I got the valve cover off and the first two rocker arms off. It's a piston stop he's got we'll put in here on the in here where the number one spark plug is and if you got the valves hooked up, the valve will hit your piston stop and give you a make you think you're touching your piston but you're really not. So you have to disable those two and put your piston stop in and then we'll spin it around and Find top dead center on it. Sorry, Joe, trying to get the piston stuff in there. Yeah. Is it in? No. It's hard to get. He's gonna get a different socket. It needs like a smaller, like a smaller socket. Hey, Kyle, come here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something else to get it in there. All right, we're gonna take this bolt out right here. Andrew made me a pointer of a coat hanger to, for the time of March, so we're gonna put that around that bolt and bring it out across the crank pulley, so we'll be able to read the timing. See where you wanted to go to the uh, group. You're like, okay, ready for the third All right, and we I got the, I that. we got that part in there. Where's the piston stop at? Oh, I got it. I got it up here. Screw one. That's good. You get in there. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, spin that in there. Oh, you're going to do it by hand. Spin it by hand. Oh, he's got the aluminum 5.3. Yeah, it's an L33. Fucking A, man. That's what I need to find for my damn Jaguar. Where'd you find that at? A uh, guy had a uh, Trans Am. Had it all in and told that I bought okay. the motor out of it. Okay. This one's built, right? Yeah, it's a built motor. You can buy one. Probably grand. What it's, for? I'll build one for you. That's some short box, 5500 for me. Huh? Alright, piston stops in. Alright, we spun the crank around until it hit the piston stop. And we got our first mark down there. It's on the 280 degree mark. So, we're just going to mark it too. And then we're going to spin it the other way. All right, so we got it on the stop one way. We marked the balancer, so we're gonna rotate it back the opposite direction until it stops. That shit was. It looks like that. I'm like Andrew's stuff that works. What works? And they're trying to blame it on me. They say I missed it. Like I hit it because the rod was. All right, it stops right there. So we're gonna mark it, and then the point in between those two is gonna be top dead center. I'm pretty sure you need old fucking bearings right. and they just eat up. It didn't even fuck the bearings like fuck, fuck, fuck. They just, they scratched it because it had no Oh, well, it's, I can see the one. It's on 281 degrees there, and the other one's on, I mean, 261 degrees, and the other one's on 281 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it'll be 271 degrees. Right in the middle. That'll be your top dead center mark. So it's not like it was not. It's just scratch. That's it. I could have So what I do is erase those other ones so they don't mess you up. Alright, we got one mark on there. Alright. So remember that number 271. It's still recording. Because I couldn't get it to full. Alright, we are going to get it to full. Alright, we verified the time with the light. Can you see the computer on there? Yeah, it'll, it'll work. Kind of. We had to go set up a custom ignition table to. Only thing scared, he to set this up, then we have to custom and we went to configure. <laughs> and we set the offset of the timing. Yeah. So, we, so it, it was advanced one degree. So, so we pulled a degree out, scary, put it right on, right on with what we wanted to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So there's what it's set to now. It's all back together and it starts up. Hey, I'll start it. Hey, 